Hi, my name is Scott Gibson with Beneath the Surface. I'm here with Lawrence Rolston, publisher of Resource Opportunities. Thanks for being with us, Lawrence. Great to see you again, Scott. I wanted to talk to you about uh, the markets picking up here through August and into September, uh, specifically the gold stocks. There's some life there. There's a few of the juniors that are starting to move and some uh, average valuations moving up. Uh, what's your take on that? Well, it <clears throat> it's wonderful. It's refreshing to see some green on uh, on, on the price screens these days. Mm -hmm. um, and, and yes, some of the companies are starting to get real attention. Um, you know, not, not a tide is rising kind of change in the markets yet, but certainly companies that are uh, <clears throat> generating news are getting results. And, and that's, that's really the, the important point here, mm -hmm. is that we haven't seen that, that sort of wholesale move into the market from retail investors yet. Well, and the, and the fact that companies that are generating news are getting positive uh, moves in their stock, stocks going up some. It's not just a liquidity event and there's volume and the stock ends up down on the day. So that's very encouraging to see. Well, right, exactly. GoldQuest you know, made a, a significant discovery. Stock went from a nickel to two dollars over a few weeks. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's the kind of thing that that's exciting for people in this sector, and uh, the kind of thing that we're looking for is, is you know, big event-driven uh, moves in, in the stock price like that. Now, what about your? Uh, you've stated this a number of times in your publication. Typically, it's the large caps that start to move first on average, and then you get to the mid tiers, and then you get the trickle down to the juniors. Do you have any uh, sort of comments to make on that in regards to either the timing or how you see it transpiring? Well, a absolutely. Uh, you know that has been the traditional pattern in in this market and, and most other markets, and and we're certainly seeing it here. The uh, the gold producers have moved up. Um, along with the gold price, they're still trading at a discount to net asset values based on, on, on even a, a lower gold price, let alone the, the current rising gold price. So there's still room for the larger companies to move further. Mm -hmm. um, the, the juniors are only just beginning to move, though. Selectively. Like Selectively, and, and that's really key at this point. Obviously, what's happening at this stage is that the people that really understand this business that weren't on holidays over the summer, that are watching the market, that are watching for news, mm -hmm. are reacting. Mm -hmm. So Gold Quest being one example where they, you know, and um, other companies that have put out significant news have seen reactions in, in the share prices. There's still a lot of um, good companies that are trading at very substantial discounts to their uh, their fundamental values. Well, and there's still companies trading at less than cash value. So there's a lot of opportunities out there. What should the investor be looking for, say a retail investor, in terms of looking at the, uh, the mining space? Well, if you can pick a company that's about to make a big discovery, then you know, obviously the, the odds are stacked against you in, in picking the right company at exactly mm -hmm. the right time. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's the biggest um, reward opportunity. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> the area that I focused on largely um, is companies that already have a deposit in hand and are adding value, they're moving it toward production. Mm -hmm. And we saw recently uh, Santa Cruz with a, a silver project in Mexico doubled in a couple of months on progress toward production. And, and another really important area to focus on are companies that are in a situation to be taken over by larger companies. Mm -hmm. We're going to edit that out. I think we are. Um, <laughs> I'll just go back to. So, what other situations are you looking at right now that are very important? Well, it, it, takeovers are, are very, very important. Mm -hmm. And, you know, traditionally in, in this business, that, that's been the, the preferred exit strategy. A larger company comes along, makes a cash bid, and, and, and we tender into uh, a cash offer. Uh, Intercitic. One of the gold companies that we've been following recently received an offer from a, a larger company, and um, the really interesting point is that the takeover offer was more than a hundred percent premium to where the company had been trading previously. Yeah, it's significant, although it's good to see now with the prices so depressed that you can have that kind of a premium. It gives hope to investors. Well, that, that's absolutely the key point here: is is that the uh, the mining companies see value in these companies way beyond the value that investors are attributing at this time. Yeah. Is there any other companies that uh, you like out there right now, or that look kind of interesting that you want to mention, or types of companies or regions that you think investors should be focusing on, or that you yourself are focusing on? Well, there's still a very heavy um, aversion to risk 
Mm -hmm. So, you know, the he most heavily discounted uh, stocks, whether it's gold or base metals or silver, are in areas where there's political uncertainty. You know, the African companies, for example, are still trading at huge discounts. Mm -hmm. And and some of the countries in Africa you wouldn't want to touch, but there's other places like Ghana that are, uh, are very favorable. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I've, again, to be very selective to look at, you know, the, the situation and um, the, the political situation in, in, the, in the country. Mm -hmm. And full disclosure, the two companies you mentioned, uh, Santa Cruz and GoldQuest, I do own GoldQuest, I don't own Santa Cruz, and yourself? Oh, I have positions in, in both, yes. Great. Well, thank you very much for being with us, Lawrence. Appreciate your comments. And uh, again, that's Lawrence Rolston, Resource Opportunities. My name is Scott Gibson with Beneath the Surface. Thanks for being with us.